Hello everyone and welcome back to the Tournament of Robotic Champions presented to you by Russ Robo. You didn't think we were done with the last week's episode, did you? Oh no, we've still got the middleweights to go through. What you saw just then was the lightweight tournament. Just the tip of the iceberg, we've still got the middleweights and heavyweights to contend with. In our first round, we've got Team Red Alert's Alarm versus Sabertooth. In our second round, we've got Mud Runner versus Bushido. In our third round, we've got Devil versus Boxer. In our fourth round, we've got Dementia versus Iceberg. And this is only half of the pre preliminary rounds. Next week will be the second half of the preliminary rounds. Then we go into the semi-final rounds and then finally the final rounds. And we'll see who the middleweight champion turns out to be. Find out this week on the Tournament of Robotic Champions. And thanks for joining. All right, everybody. Without further ado, Welcome to the Bridge of Doom. let's begin our first match. A perfect evening for some robotic We've got Red Zone. Team Red Watch Zone's Alarm. Or your goose is cut. Versus... I've never felt such a cold chill as I felt between the opposing bots this evening. Sabertooth. From Team Good Old Boys. Here we and go. it's going down. We've got Sabertooth coming down the middle lane. Looks like he's having some trouble finding his opponent. Let's see what Let's see what Alarm's doing. Alarm's coming in hot. And a heavy hit from Alarm straight onto the front of Sabertooth. It looks like uh, Sabertooth's taking a lot of damage on the side. Sabertooth trying to get those main weapons in on Alarm. Get him in a good pinch and deal a lot of damage to the sides. Sabertooth, lo Sabertooth looks to be flipping over now. He does have the ability to drive both sides though with less control. Some excellent driving from the driver. Oh no! The driver of Alarm, excellent driving. Looks like Sabertooth's lost a wheel. The crowd's going wild. Sabertooth taking massive damage to his back chassis. That wheel just sitting there. He's being drugged along and into the flame trap by Alarm. Alarm having no mercy on, flame, on Sabertooth today. Sabertooth taking a lot of electrical damage from the flamethrower. Looks like his chassis's been heavily damaged. He's got... Only 593 points to Alarm's 3,300. Still going up. It looks like Alarm's pretty much got this one knocked in the bag. Sabretooth now being counted out. And Alarm actually having stopped. It's only instance of mercy against such a devastating round. Prehist Team Prehistoric Sabretooth moves on. No, Team Red Zones Alarm moves on to the next round with 3,500 points. And now we move on to our next round. Team Good Old Boys. Ah, earlier I said uh, Sabretooth was te from Team Good Old Boys. It actually Welcome wasn't. It was from Team Prehistoric. This is Team Good Old Boys Mud Runner versus Team Dragons Bushido. The crowd is poised, the bots are armed, and we're ready to begin the destruction! Looks like a good match, both opponents using similar weaponry. Bushido having one slicing blade, Mudrunner having Here two chopping go. axes. Let's see what they can do. Bushido and Mudrunner both appearing to have some trouble getting under the uh, arena bridge there. Bushido pushing Mudrunner back up underneath the bridge. Dealing damage to the underside of Mudrunner's chassis. Looks like Mudrunner's chassis is taking a lot of heavy damage, especially to those wheels wheel section. Mudrunner's got to get some heavy hits in. It looks like it's already smoking. You can hear the clanking of Bushido's blade against the steel of Mudrunner's chassis. He's got to watch out if he takes too much damage to those to those wheel pistons. His wheels won't function anymore. It looks like. Two of them on the right side are already smoking heavily. Looks like they're locked, locked up right now. Bushido pushing Mudrunner back up and up underneath the arena bridge. Mudrunner definitely stuck with those axes actually working against him. This could be a serious problem. 
we're definitely going to see need to see some better driving from from Mudrunner on this one if he's going to actually turn this around. Bushido dominating right now with 1,612 points, going in for another heavy strike to push Mudrunner out from underneath the arena bridge, pushing him back onto his backside now, getting heavy damage against those tire pistons, and two of them are gone, three of them are gone, all four are gone now. Bushido has essentially turned Mudrunner into a fancy box with double axes. This match is pretty much over. And Bushido is now flipping through the arena because F physics, am I right? Go Bushido. It is now breakdancing in, in celebration of its victory over its hapless opponent Mudrunner. 2,413 points against Mudrunner, but it appears that Bushido is here having some trouble self-riding right now. Its weapon not being strong enough to actually flip it back over. It's actually lower in the count now. Could it actually lose this match? This match oh is no, done. a stunning upset. Bushido actually the loser against the box known as Mudrunner. Mudrunner the winner thanks to Countout with 266 points. Very interesting. Team Dragon's Bushido unfortunately out of this round. The good old boys Mudrunner will move on to the semifinals. Now we've got our next round with Team Blackstorm's Devilbot. One moment, there we go, get that entered in right there. Sorry, had to mark down the score. Versus Team Sparks the Boxer. This promises to be an interesting match. Welcome to the Bridge of Doom. It all comes down the crowd is sitting on the edge to of whether or seats. not the devil can actually flip the Watch boxer the over flames. before he takes a lot of heavy damage. We're seeing some interesting robot designs tonight. Can he do it though? The boxer having no self-riding mechanism will be in big trouble if he actually gets flipped over. I've seen it happen before. The buzzer signals to stop but this definitely could go straight towards the boxer's, bo boxer's way. He deals massive amounts of damage with those punches. Two piston powered punching rods are the boxer's main weapons and it looks like he's been flipped onto his back. Uh oh, the devil making possibly a poor decision. Devil making possibly a poor decision flipping the boxer back onto his right side. The boxer now able to deal heavy damage to the devil. Devil doesn't appear to be stuck under the bridge but he appears to be having some driving problems. The pilot, the, the pilot's gonna need to work that out. He's gotta get it together quick. Boxer's dealing heavy damage. Boxer already dominating with 1,806 points. 1,900 still going up. Oh dear, the devil seems to have lost a tire. Boxer going in on that other right side tire now. Devil with only 441 points. Definitely getting destroyed in this match. We are definitely seeing some devastatingly one-sided matches in the start of the middle weight rounds. Devil now smoking, probably internals on fire. We've got heavy chassis damage, crowds going wild. Devil can't move right now. Boxer is totally dominating this round. He's just gonna take it home, folks. We've got a minute and 38 seconds for the Devil to for a Boxer to just beat down on his hapless opponent. It is not looking in his favor at all. Devil, uh, Boxer just definitely taking it to Devil, pushing him out from under the arena. Pushing him out from under the arena bridge right now. Devil just not able to actually do anything at all. Totally, totally without hope, without chance. But then again, we just saw Mudrunner actually bring it back up against Bushido with a stunning upset victory. Could the Devil pull off? So could Devil pull off something like this right now? I don't think so. He's taking battery damage. One or two more good hits, and it's over. Too much battery damage. The chassis caved in, Devil's out, Boxer moves on with a devastating 4,867 points. Let me check my scorecard real quick. Is that our final round? Is this our final match? Let's see, we've got Dementia versus Iceberg. Yes, this is the final round. So we've got the North Polar's Iceberg versus Spikehead's Dementia. Enter the Bridge of Doom. Are you ready to pay the toll of Here passage? we are. 
Watch out for the in the final round a bit hot under the of the preliminaries middleweight tournament round play. one round two will be next week with backlash versus lugnut razor versus the dog revenge versus tornado and rip blade versus cheese wheel jack <laughs> I named that one myself, you'll see why later. Looks like Iceberg's having some difficulty with the arena ramp. Definitely a cumbersome bot. Even though it's not a heavyweight, it certainly does take up a lot of arena room. That Spike's getting stuck on the arena bridge. Dementia just tearing into his opponent. With 418 points already, Iceberg is not looking good. He's gonna need to get some heavy hits with that hammer. Or with that pick if he's actually gonna turn this around. He needs to deal heavy damage. Iceberg's weapon is devastating, but if he can't get the hits, it's all over. You can't beat what you can't hit, or you can't hit what you can't catch. He's got to get turned around, get out of that corner, and stop letting Dementia control this match. If it went down to judge judges, Dementia would de- Ooh, and a heavy hit from Iceberg on Dementia's top end. Dementia's not feeling that, he's trying to flip Iceberg over. If this was going down to the judges, uh, Dementia would definitely be getting way more points for Control Iceberg now getting melted under the flamethrower or just got it melted under the flamethrower trying to get that heavy hit in again a second heavy hit Iceberg looks like he's gonna fall over and oh that's dangerous doesn't want to stay there hopefully he'll get a friendly bump from dementia there it is tried to flip Iceberg back onto its top bottom end now so it can actually self light those granny wheels are not doing good for Iceberg Iceberg is definitely in trouble front spike not really helping the top pick can deal a heavy amount of damage, but without getting those strong strikes in and be able to actually maneuver, it is absolutely at the mercy of Dementia unless some kind of miracle is going to happen right now. It's using its spike to self-right. Looks like Dementia is going to try to catch it up against the arena bridge. And there it is. Iceberg is absolutely wedged up against that arena bridge. There's no way he's going to get out of that unless Dementia backs up and lets him out. There he goes. Oh, nope, just backing up to match, actually make it worse. Iceberg now getting counted out with eight seconds left. Dementia dominating this match with 1,292 points and still rising. Iceberg seemingly having no hope of turning this around right now. He is in definite trouble. The audience is not feeling his performance right now. Nine seconds, eight seconds on the countdown, going back and forth to stop the countdown from counting him out. Looks like he's stuck, he's stuck up against the arena ramp, not actually able to move, and Dementia just tearing into him right now. You can't see the hits because Dementia's got a low ground clearance spike that actually just tears away at his, bo uh, his opponent's bottom chassis. I've seen it actually pop tires before and tear them off. That spike right there is... Basically, what's that? what that's meant for is just tearing off tires and dealing heavy damage. But with Iceberg's low ground clearance, it looks like he's actually just dealing small amounts of chassis the damage instead. But it's more than enough to get him a landslide victory at 1,486 points for our match winner. That is the first round of the Middleweight Robot Arena Tournament. I hope you enjoyed it. Stun tune in next week for the second round of our middleweight robot arena 2 tournament with again a backlash versus lugnut razor versus the dog revenge versus tornado and rip blade versus cheese wheel jack i'll have to draw up those names on the tournament roster and actually get that match going so remember if you like this episode make sure to subscribe for updates on future content leave your comments in the comment section below likes are always appreciated and until next time take it easy my friends